Greetings, YouTube. Marvin Ford with Great American Survival. Today we have a special review. We have a special review of the September of 2016 Hiker Crate. Um, we just received it. Uh, we received it Friday. Today is Saturday. Actually, we received it Thursday. And um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. This is, um, if you're new to Hiker Crate, Hiker Crate is a subscription box. Um, it runs $40 a month. Um, this is only the second one that they've done, so I'm kind of, I've already peeked at it, but um, we're going to crack it open and show you what they sent us. All right, stay with us. All right, well, if you're new to us, um, we're, we're, well, we're all kind of new to the Hiker Crate. Hiker Crate is a new, new product. This is um, only the second box. First box, you can go back. The I have a review of it. It wasn't bad. wasn't bad at all. Um, they do like to put a lot of food in their boxes. I'll give them that. Um, still not bad. Um, I will say I've been really impressed with the food because um, it gave us like a mountain house kind of meal last, last time. It was really good. It was not. Let me take that back. It was not a mountain house meal. It was much better than any mountain house meal I've ever had. Um, it was really good, and um, if you go back, I don't know the name of the company, but it was a chicken and pesto. I love pesto, as long as they don't put too many pine nuts in it. It's really good. It was delicious. I mean, it really was. It was a chicken and pesto dish. Um, back to this box. Let's show you what they sent us. They send you a little what's in the box card, and it shows you all the stuff. It says, get out there and let us inspire your adventure together. Uh, first thing they list in here is a Tahoe trail bar. Uh, Tahoe Trail Bar. Uh, this one is Peanut Butter Plus. Cool. I will show a picture right here. All right. It says it's all vegan. Peanut butter, chocolate chunks, raisins, cranberries, and coconut. Fuel your journey. Gluten-free also. Um, I have not tried this one yet. It is not like a rock. It's actually ten, like soft. We'll try this one out, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Um, peaceful fruit fruit strips. The Tahoe bars are just they're. I've seen them on there on um, on on in different magazines and stuff. They're like a trail, uh, like a Cliff Bar. They're gonna run you a couple dollars. Um, the next is Peaceful Fruits Super Fruit Fruit Strips. It uh, looks like it's like fruit leather. Um, this, con this one is pineapple. It says just pineapple and 25, uh, was it, acai berries? Akia berries? Those berries. Um, pretty cool. 100% fruit, no sugar additive, uh, GMO free, um, organic. Nice. Vegan also, gluten-free. We agree with ethical trade is what it says, but um, not bad. Not bad at all. They gave us two of them, so I don't know what they'll run, but I'll put a price across here and tell you how much they were. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. I'm not pe familiar with Peaceful Fruit. Um, we've got a jerky snack. Let me find it. Koei. Um, it's it's K O O E E Super Snacks Jerky Trail Mix Mix. It's an all natural jerky tra jerky mix and a trail mix. And what their objective is, it says they keep them separated, and then you rip them open, and you can either eat them independently or you rip them open and mix them up. Uh, this one is lemon or lime pepper with mango uh, beef snack, and then it's got a trail mix. Not bad. 21 grams of protein. Doesn't look bad. Hmm. All right. Let's try it out. Let's see what it is, how it is. Not bad. It's got a good flavor, but it is very, very dry jerky. I will say it's very dry jerky. Um. The fruit. Hmm. I got a mango. Good. I like mango. Not bad. 
The jerky, like I said, is really dry, but not bad. Good snack for the trail. I can see that. Next, they sent us some Kuju pour over coffee filters. These are pretty good. Sorry, I'm still chewing, guys. I told you it's dry jerky. These are those um, coffee filters. You stretch them over your coffee cup, you tear them open, you pour water in them, and they filter through themselves into your cup. You don't have to have anything special. These aren't bad. I did one on one of the, I think it was this month's Cairn box had it in it. I know I'm not trying to cross-reference any other boxes, but they had the Kuju coffee also. I made it, tried it out. It was really a good cup of coffee. I'll give it that. That was what they called the camp, like base camp blend. This is what they call bold awakening, dark roast and uh, consciously sourced. Nice. Got two of those. Those are about a you get a box of 12 for, I think it was 15 bucks. So, not bad. Got two of those. Got some jerky. We've got some sea bear, sea bear, ready to eat sockeye salmon. Nice. I like salmon. I love salmon. I'm not going to open this, though. That's some nice stuff. All right, that's pretty nice. Um, those, I know, I've seen these before, and these aren't cheap. These are like, I want to say they're like eight bucks for one of these packs. But, I mean, this is three and a half ounces of pure salmon. That's a heck of a lot. Of, that's 240 calories in just one pouch. But it's a lot of salmon. I mean, it really is. I think it's a meal for two. Or snack for two, or mix it with something and make it a meal for two. Not bad, guys. That's pretty impressive. Non-GMO. Says it is TSA friendly, so you can carry it on a plane. We do have some promo codes. We'll get to those in a minute. We'll, boot, we'll post those at the very end. Or would you rather I put them across here? Each time I do one, you want me to put the promo code on it? I think I should, when I go back and edit it, I think I should put the promo code across here? I don't know. We'll do that. I'll go back and I'll put the promo code. I'm a little late to tell you this now, but at least now you'll know. You already know, because I've already been doing it, right? See? I'm sorry. All right. Uh, and the last thing they sent us was a Sawyer Mini water filter. Not bad. I like these. I've got a few of them. I like them because you screw them. You can have like a, whether it's a platypus or whether or not you have like a regular water bottle, like a Dasani bottle. Um, a Fiji bottle, like just a water bottle you found, or a Pepsi bottle, or anything like that. You can use it, dunk it in the stream, fill it up, and you can suck it right out of this little thing like a straw, and just drink right out of it. It's really, a, they're great little filters. This little filter will treat 100,000 gallons. I mean, that's impressive, guys. These are great little filters. I, I like them. They come in very handy. They're very small. Um, it does come with a little flush system to rinse it all out and clean it and get it ready for the next time around. And it also has a platypus in here for you to use. So you don't need, if you have this in your pack, what I advise you to do is what I did. And I'll, I'm actually going to do a video on that. Maybe I'll do that today too. Um, my, high, my filtration kit is a bunch of paperwork, some coffee filters, and um, a bunch of other stuff that make up a really good personal height water water filter system to have with you on an emergency but um back to this sorry i'm rambling today aren't i i'm sorry um but it's okay that's what we're here for this is my show we can have fun with it um these aren't cheap these are probably 20 i think they're 20 25 bucks something like that the last time i bought one um but they're worth it they're 100 worth it they are amazing little filters Um, if you have room for them, personally, I like the self-contained one I've been using. Um, the one I used on our last few campouts was, um, I used a grail and I love the grail. Press and drink. 
That's all there is to it. I don't have to boil it. I don't have to do anything. And I've done it out of streams. And there is, I will say, guys, there's nothing more satisfying than being able to dunk your glass into a wa into a stream. Yeah, you can always just dunk your glass in there and drink it anyways, but if you get sick, you get sick. But um, to be able to dunk it into a stream, press it, and drink out of that thing, it is so satisfying, especially when you're somewhere really really rustic and somewhere rural, rural um, really off the trail, you know, off the beaten path. Um, it's just very refreshing. Kayaking is perfect, especially. Um, th this is this is a good little box. Um, I think it's probably going to be just over what we pay for the box on this case, from what I'm looking at. Um, you're probably going to have a five to seven dollar value extra from what you paid. But I will say they did send us some really cool products that I was not aware of. Um, I did not know about the sea bear salmon and I did not know about the Kui trail mix combo because I liked the flavor of it and it was something different. I'd never had anything like that. The fire is dying. Nah, it's going to go for a while. It'll be okay. But I like the Kuju coffee. The Who's coffee? I, I'm not a big coffee drinker. I love coffee in the winter time, but when it's hot, I don't want coffee. I'm not a coffee person. I don't need it to, to be up and mobile. I'm pretty hyper all the time anyways but um it's it's good coffee i'm looking forward to trying that one that one might be a little over my over the head of me um i have um i previously suffered from afib um had to have some heart procedures done and um i try to lay off the caffeine i don't drink i'll do a lot of caffeine coffee like that might be a little over the top but in the case of it it's one of those things as long as you don't overdo it a cup, a cup in the morning ain't gonna hurt me. Um, doesn't doesn't do too much, but you know, it's it's good coffee. I was really impressed with the last one they sent us, guys. Um, Hiker crate, try them out, check it out, um, see what you see what you think, and you know, try it and see what you think. They're they're not bad at all. Um, it's more gear. It's different things that you might not try. You might not have tried. And above all, right here is enough snacks and drinks. You could take this and do a one-day camp out, take your family, and um, you got your coffee, you got a water filter. Then all you need is a small pot to make some boiling water. Carry yourself an aluminum um, like water bottle. Man, you've got yourself, you're set up. That, or even a, a titanium or stainless steel coffee cup. And you can boil water right there and then just pour it. Well, you'd have to have two then. Yeah. Yeah, you would. All right. But um, I hope everybody has a great week. Um, I do have a couple shout-outs. I want to recommend a couple people, some people I'm new, I'm newer to. Um, was, one was a gentleman named Chris Bamman, or Bama Man, I think it how it's pronounced. Um, I thought it was really neat. He actually, um, growing up in Southern California in the Sacramento area, um, prospecting and gold panning was something. He does some on one of his videos. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers. I'd love to see us help him out and get him going. If you, especially if you guys aren't aware of him, check him out and see what you think. Um, he does some really cool, not your basic campfire meals. So check them out. Um, PA Outdoors was another one. Um, I thought he did some really cool gear reviews. Does a lot of knives, um, a lot of, you know, just some different stuff. And um, he does some stuff. So that's the letter P, the letter A, and then the word outdoors. Um, I will have the links in the back. And the other one was um, Schuler's Survival Reviews. Uh, Schuler Survival Reviews, he does a bunch of gear reviews, and um, he does some cool stuff too. Um, I like the fact that he um, didn't just do knives, he does some headlamps and um, water bottles and stuff like that. And he just does some cool gear reviews, and I like listening to him. I like listening to him talk, and um, that's that's key. Um, he's, these are all three, none of these are uh, real, none of these, I think. I don't think any of them have over but a few hundred you know, subscribers. I think some might have less than a couple hundred, but uh, one of them had like 400. I think Chris, um, I think uh, PA Outdoors and uh, had a few more, had like, had a couple hundred. But um, check them out, guys. Go check them out. Um, subscribe to them. Tell them what you think. Um, I hope everybody has a great week. I'm really blessed to be here. Um, had a great week at work, um, but I'm enjoying the weekend. Uh, I can't say that uh, the world's not crazy, um, but 
if you know anybody or if you have any kids that aren't registered to vote, get them out there. Get them to register to vote. We need to get everybody out there. If we plan on taking back our country and doing anything about the way it's standing now, if you like the way our world is right now, don't do anything. If you're happy, if you're happy with everything about your life, don't do anything about it. Don't vote. Especially don't vote for Hillary. But if you do, if you want change, get your family, get your, if they're over 18, get them registered. If you know anybody at work, give them, give them a grief and get them to register. They gotta vote. The deadline's like, what is it? Is it October 1st? I think it's October 1st. It's sometime, it's, it's October. So get them out there. You only got a few weeks, a couple weeks at that. But, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll quit rambling. Hope everybody has a great week. Um, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Be prepared, stay safe, and God bless. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.